Greetings. My name's Tim Stringer. I'm the founder of Learn OmniFocus, a site to help you live a fulfilling and productive life with some help from OmniFocus and complementary productivity apps. OmniFocus 4 is a significant update to OmniFocus. In this video, we'll look at some of the new features and enhancements on the iPhone and iPad. We'll cover the Mac in a separate video. I'll start by taking on a tour of the OmniFocus 4 user interface. We'll then dive into specific features, including some previously only available on the Mac. Please note that some features are only available in OmniFocus Pro. This is what OmniFocus 4 looks like on the iPad. There's a toolbar running along the top of the screen, and a perspectives bar showing your favorite perspectives along the left edge of the screen. Tapping the sidebar button in the toolbar reveals the sidebar. The contents of the sidebar vary depending on what perspective you're in. In this example, we're in the Projects perspective, and the sidebar allows me to browse and select projects and folders. You can hide the sidebar by tapping the sidebar button or pressing Option-Command-S on a physical keyboard. The sidebar will remain shown or hidden by default as you switch between different perspectives. You can optionally customize whether the sidebar is visible on a perspective-by-perspective -perspective basis. You view and interact with your projects, action groups, and actions in the outline. OmniFocus 4 introduces a flexible inline editor that gives you quick and easy access to the fields you use most. By default, you can view and update the project, tags, and due date fields. If there are other fields you want at your fingertips, you can easily add them by tapping the View button and tapping Edit Default Layout. I'll tap Set display fields to specify the fields displayed in the outline by default. I often assign estimated durations to actions, so I'll enable estimated duration. I regularly use defer dates, so I'll also display the defer until date field. I'll tap layout to go back to the layout options, then tap set editing fields. When you tap on a task in OmniFocus, you go into inline editing mode. By default, the display fields mirror the editing fields. However, you can choose to have different fields available in editing mode. This allows you to keep the outline as minimalist as possible, while still being able to make changes quickly and conveniently. I'll turn off mirror display fields and enable repeat and notifications. I'll tap layout to go back to the layout options, then tap done to go back to my outline. To show you this in action, I'll navigate to the project I created to get ready for an upcoming trip to Newfoundland, Canada's easternmost province. I'll add an action to the Just Before Leaving group by dragging the plus button into this group. Specifically, I want to make sure I water the plants before leaving on my travels. Since I need to be physically at home to complete this action, I'll tap Tags and assign a tag of home. Notice that the other editing fields that I just configured are also available. It's just as easy to change the properties of a project or action group. I don't want actions in the Just Before Leaving group to become available until it's almost time to jet off to Newfoundland. Let's say I'm leaving on July 2nd, and I want these actions to be available on July 1st. I'll tap Just Before Leaving, then tap Defer Until, and choose a date of July 1st. I could navigate using the calendar, though it's sometimes more efficient to type the date, especially if you're using a hardware keyboard. I'll enter JUL. Since I didn't specify a specific date in July, OmniFocus will assume I mean July 1st. You can also type relative dates. For example, if I type MON, OmniFocus inserts the date for the following Monday. And if I type 1WMON, OmniFocus calculates the date for a week from Monday. I'll put the defer until date back to July 1st. You can also edit items in the outline using the inspector. Tap the I button to reveal the inspector panel. The inspector provides you with access to features that aren't available in the outline. You can specify what sections you want in the inspector and reorder these sections to your liking. To customize the inspector, tap the three dots at the bottom of the inspector panel. Choose Edit Inspector Layout and ensure the inspector tab is selected. If there are OmniFocus features that you don't use, you can turn off that section to simplify the user interface. 
Similarly, you can enable sections that you plan to use. Since I like to travel, I'll enable the time zone feature. This allows me to specify whether dates and times are automatically adjusted as I travel the world, or stay fixed regardless of my time zone. I often adjust the review date and frequency, so I'll move this section higher. This section only applies to projects, so it will only be visible if a project is selected. I'll tap Done to complete these customizations. When I tap the Newfoundland project, I see inspector items that apply to projects. Notice that the Review section is now near the top. Since this project is still a little ways off, I'll change the review period from one week to two weeks. Using a long press, you can also change a project, action group, or action. I'll mark this project reviewed by tapping and holding the project, and choosing Mark Reviewed. My Newfoundland project will show up in the review perspective in two weeks, prompting me to reassess the project and make any necessary changes or additions. Next, let's look at OmniFocus 4 on the iPhone. On the iPhone, the perspectives bar appears along the bottom of the screen. You can swipe left and right to reveal all your favorite perspectives. You can access the sidebar, outline, and inspector panels on the iPhone. Due to the smaller screen size, you can only see one panel at a time. I'll tap the Projects perspective, then tap the sidebar button in the toolbar to access folders and projects. If I tap a project, I'm taken back into the outline pane with that project selected. I'll navigate to my Newfoundland project. You can also switch between the outline and sidebar by tapping the current perspective. I'm currently in the outline pane for the projects perspective. When I tap projects, the sidebar is revealed. When I tap projects again, I'm taken back to the outline. As with the iPad, you can specify what fields are visible in the outline and which can be edited without leaving the outline pane. I'll tap View, then Edit Default Layout. Since screen space is limited on the iPhone, I'll include only the essential display fields. I'll tap Set Display Fields, and enable only Project and Do. Next, I'll tap Layout and go back to the Layout Settings, and tap Set Editing Fields, to specify the fields that I want to be able to edit when I tap on a project, action group, or action. I'll disable mirror display fields and choose to display most of the available fields. I'll tap Layout and Done to go back to the outline. This project contains several groups of actions. I can reveal all the actions in this project by tapping the More button and choosing Expand All from the App menu. I can then tap on any of these actions to make changes. I'll set the duration of water plants to 15 minutes. You can access the inspector by tapping I in the toolbar. As was the case with the iPad, you can choose which sections to display in the inspector and change the order of these sections. I'll leave the inspector as is for now. One of my favorite OmniFocus features is Quick Open. Previously, this feature was only available on the Mac. It's now available in the iPhone and iPad as well. As the name implies, Quick Open lets you quickly open a perspective, folder, project, or tag. As we'll see, Quick Open also allows you to customize the perspectives bar. I'll tap the Quick Open button, which is located in the lower left corner of the screen on both the iPhone and iPad. You can scroll through a list of built-in and custom perspectives and type in the search box to quickly hone in on a specific perspective, folder, project, or tag. For example, I can easily navigate to my Newfoundland project by typing a few letters from the project's name and tapping the project. OmniFocus 4 includes back and forward buttons, similar to what you use on your browser. I can tap back to get back to where I just was and forward to return to the Newfoundland project. To get more granular with your search, swipe down on the outline pane to reveal the search bar. You can search the current outline or expand your search to encompass your remaining tasks or all your tasks, including your completed ones. This is helpful if you'd like to find, for example, an action based on a word mentioned in the note field. Let's look at using Quick Open to customize the perspectives bar. 
I'll invoke Quick Open, then tap Edit. Perspectives that are starred will appear in the Perspectives bar. I don't use the flagged perspective often, so I'll tap the star to remove this perspective from the Perspectives bar. I regularly use the Today and Today Important custom perspectives, so I'll tap the star beside these perspectives to add them to my favorites. You can also reorder perspectives using the drag handles. I'll position Today and Today Important under the Forecast perspective. Speaking of the Forecast perspective, this built-in perspective has been enhanced in OmniFocus 4. As you can in OmniFocus 3, you can display some or all of your calendars alongside deferred and due items. As before, you can designate a specific tag such as today to be included in your list for today. In OmniFocus 4, flagged items can be included in the forecast. If you're tempted to give something a due date to get it to appear in forecast, even though it's not actually due, consider giving it a flag instead. Just make sure you don't flag too many items at once. You can also choose to have items with a notification appear in the forecast, which can be handy for clarifying what you'll be notified about in the future. As was the case in OmniFocus 3, you can opt to have related forecast items grouped together. OmniFocus 4 groupings include calendar events, due, deferred, and scheduled notifications. OmniFocus 4 also introduces a flexible structure. When you switch to flexible, you'll see two additional options. Preserve Hierarchy keeps related items together, so if you have a project to do today with five actions, you can choose only to show the project and collapse the list of actions. This helps to keep the forecast perspective much more manageable. By default, items are sorted according to their date. For example, something due today at 5pm would appear before something due at 8pm. If you uncheck Keep Sorted, you can put projects and actions into any order you like. If you check Keep Sorted again, projects will return to their sorted order. One of the signature features of OmniFocus is custom perspectives. Using custom perspectives, you can create custom views of your OmniFocus projects and actions. For example, you could create a custom perspective showing all your personal actions that are due soon or flagged, or all of the errands you need to run while you're out and about. The user interface for custom perspectives has been simplified in OmniFocus 4. I'll go to my Today perspective, which shows available actions that are due soon, flagged, tagged with today, or have a defer date. When I tap View, you'll see that perspective rules are displayed and edited separately from other perspective options. I'll tap Edit Perspective Rules to show the rules that define this perspective, and View Options to navigate back to where I was. In OmniFocus 4, you can choose from an expanded library of icons, and as before, you can add your own. You can also choose from the built-in color palette or specify a custom color. We cover custom perspectives in our in-depth videos and courses. Also check out our free directory of custom perspectives for OmniFocus if you're looking for some inspiration. You can also go into flexible mode. You can specify the initial sort order and drag things around. If things feel too disorganized, tap sort now to return to the initial order. OmniFocus for Mac has always had the ability to focus on folders and projects. This way you can give an area of life or even a single project your full attention without being distracted by things that you aren't currently focused on. The very useful focus feature is now available on the iPhone and iPad. To focus on a folder or project, tap and hold on what you want to focus on and choose Focus. I'll tap and hold on the Personal folder and choose Focus so that I'm only seeing personal projects and actions. Note that this focus is maintained as I navigate. For example, when I tap Review, I only see personal projects waiting to be reviewed. While in focus mode, a focus bar appears across the top of the screen, indicating what you're focusing on. Tap the X in the focus bar to go out of focus mode. The Omni Group has a well-deserved reputation for providing excellent support for Apple features. One example of this is the interactive widgets that were introduced in iOS and iPadOS 17. OmniFocus 4 supports interactive widgets in different sizes. There are widgets for forecast, perspective items, and quick entry. I want to make sure I don't lose track of my most important items, so I'll create a widget for my Today Important custom perspective. This perspective shows all available actions that are either due soon or flagged. 
I can check off these actions in the widget as I complete them without opening OmniFocus. Conveniently, these widgets can include a quick entry button, making it quick and convenient to get things into OmniFocus. Speaking of getting things into OmniFocus, the share sheet that appears when you share from other apps has received an upgrade in OmniFocus 4. Let's say I'm looking at the Apple Watch Ultra 2 page on Apple's website and plan to order one of these technological marvels later today. I'll tap the Share button and choose OmniFocus. I'm presented with a quick entry panel with the link automatically added to the note field. I'll call the action Purchase Apple Watch. At this point, I could tap Save and add the action to my inbox. I can also process this input now so I have one less inbox item to deal with. I'll put it in my Admin and Finances project and give it tags of Today and Admin. And I'll tap Save to add it to OmniFocus. This is just a taste of what's possible with OmniFocus 4. Many thanks to the good folks at Omni for all the time and energy they put into this major release. To learn how to make productive use of OmniFocus and complementary productivity apps, check out our in-depth articles, videos, and courses at learnomnifocus.com. This is Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus. Thanks for watching.